Good morning. How are you? These groceries landing in Bruce Nelson's cart won't end up in his fridge. There are so many people that are hungry and they don't have the resources to go out and get food. Today, he's helping feed Atlanta. I just do it because I like to do it. The idea started small. A 40-pound box of potatoes. Bruce's friend David Skoke originally made the ask for a local community garden. Thought I'd get a couple handfuls of potatoes. But armed with 40 pounds, a seed was planted in Skoke's mind. I thought, I wonder if they have more to donate. And since 2012, the donations have grown and grown. I went to another store and another store, and I found a place to deliver it. Places like the Atlanta Mission, which rely on food donations to feed the hungry. You got that? Homelessness is a huge, a huge, gigantic issue in our city. And at Atlanta Mission, we're, we're tackling that by seeing a 1,000 people a day. But we can't do that on our own. We have to have the support of the community. Corn on the cobs. Rachel Reynolds says having fresh, organic food is key. A lot of times, people think of canned foods when they think of homelessness. Vegetables. And for us, we want to provide nutritious meals to the people that we serve. That gets expensive. It gets expensive for a family of one. And so to do that for a thousand people, to have fresh produce from partners is huge. Now a registered nonprofit, helping feed Atlanta relies on volunteers to carry the load. We collect about 35,000 pounds a month and deliver north, south, east, and west. He said, would you like to have a truck and do it yourself? I said, sure. So he gave me the hippie van. These days, Skoke leans on volunteers like Bruce more than ever. I have two kinds of cancer and a heart that doesn't work exactly perfectly. So I got it all going on. He takes it upon himself, no matter what's happening in his life, he's out there in the field. And I tell him, just rest for a few minutes. We'll take care of it. Stepping in to continue a mission that all started with one man asking one question at his local grocery store. It all happened. I didn't plan on this. It just happened, and it's still happening.